Okay. This is the front, would be the south attic space. We do not have enough service area in front of the indoor air handler. Uh, as the gas piping is in the way, it's improperly supported, suspended, the perforated tape. Okay, we've got a filter opening over here that's leaking. There's no filter in there. Look at the downstairs hall. That's leaking. It's a rigid duct. That's a good thing. We've got a light that doesn't work. No uh, operable service light. This is plywood over lath. The building is. The roof structure is. Um, it's not real bonus on the way that vent's going through there and it's not properly suspended. This is flexible duct for the clothes dryer improperly coming up through. Somebody's uh, bragging about the insulation. I wouldn't brag so much. We're missing some bat insulation off the walls back there. This is R13 on the on the walls where it is where it's been replaced in those few areas this indoor air handler has been installed backwards it had the wrong stuff okay, to service this you have to get over here I don't know how you do that I do not know how you do that uh, the primary evaporator drain line does not have a p-trap it's not insulated I don't know what it looks like in that pan behind there this is on Hail Mary's and uh, I'll take some still images and see if I can't write a report about it. It's just sucking air from the attic and redistributing it. So this is not a lot to see right here. Again, I'll come back and take some still images. See if I can write something. This unit doesn't seem to be that antiquated. It might be similar vintage to the condensing unit. I can't find a data plate. I can't take the cover off. Nobody can service this. Servicing this is, if somebody does service this, you're not gonna get good service. You can't. They can't work with that. See all those grease marks around there? That's, that's from rats. The, from their skin. So this, this unit cannot be properly serviced. Somebody will charge you for it, complain about it, tell you how they were your hero this is not going to work it's not going to work at all I hate to be the one to say that I don't want to be the one that tells you this but you paid me to this is the flu see all that discoloration up there that's the flu for the water heater it doesn't go through the ceiling to that weird ass <laughs> to that weird vent cap up on the roof so that's just wrong that's carbon monoxide coming back into the house that's heat that's a fire hazard that's this wrong on several different levels and speaking of wrong on several different levels that is a gas fired appliance this door does not seal this door doesn't seal these bifold doors that's a bedroom it's a bedroom right there we're gonna come on up we got three attic accesses. I probably should have prepped for this better. Okay. We got power vent fans. Do not recommend those. Might be pretty good since you're short circuiting since the attic ventilation's messed up. I'm gonna drop you. Drop you a little bit. It might be a, a good alternative workaround because the way the attic ventilation is done. So they probably had a problem with hot attic. It wasn't ventilated properly. You got a hot attic that's not ventilated properly. So you put those fans to kind of force things along. That might work. People did it for years. They still sell them. Let's see what we 
I've got here. I lost my light. Tape on duct tape, bathroom vent. The bathroom vent goes to the soft vent, something like that. It's a skylight. It doesn't even go through the. It doesn't go through the ceiling. So that's going to leak. Loose fuel fiberglass, collar beams. We got zip, zip cord, lamp, lamp cord, extension cord going to the power vent fan. That's the wrong application. You can kind of see the rat trails running through there. Okay. Looks kind of dark up here. Highly oxidized. I can't tell that there wasn't a fire up here. It kind of looks like there might have been a fire up here sometime. Interesting. And then all the paint down there on that end. I know it's dark. Yeah, I'm gonna say this house experienced a fire at one point. That's why they have all the smoke alarms. I mean, for an older house, I mean, they got, it's not like they don't have smoke alarms. One in the den, one in the living room, one in the entryway. Every bedroom has them. Every bedroom is supposed to have them. That's some fun here. Okay. Take one more peek. I'm just kind of put this stuff up. This is the west bedroom, right closet, and the east closet. This is another, let's cut a hole in here. Yeah, I wish this camera's aperture would work better. Seems like it used to. I'll get some better still pictures. <laughs> 